And now I'm answering question number five from the new P1 um, IAL Pure Maths 1 paper from January 2019. This is the first actual paper for this uh, new uh, syllabus that started. The first teaching was in, in September 2018. Okay, so this is question five, and this is like um, to do with the sine, cosine, the trig curves, the trig function curves. And um, a couple of my students took this actual exam in, in June. One of them um, got 100% UMS, but uh, he lost a few marks. He got 71 out of 75. And this is one of the questions where he lost marks, on, well, one mark on. And it was a bit you know, surprising um, that he lost the mark. And I'll show you why he lost the mark. But basically, um, here we have, first of all, it tells us that this is the curve of y equals cosine 2x. y equals cosine of 2x. Okay, now this is the type of function where you have a transformation taking place inside the function. Okay, so here you've got f of 2x, where the x values are all multiplied by, in this case, going to be a half. The x coordinates are all multiplied by a half, the, in the reciprocal of the number multiplying um, what's inside the function. Okay, any transformation that takes place um, inside the function, okay, to, it causes the x coordinates to be changed, and in kind of like the opposite way. If it was, if it was two cosine x, that would be of the form two times f x, and in this case, the y coordinates would change, and they would all be multiplied by two. But in this case, all the y coordinates are the same, but the x coordinates are multiplied by a half. Okay, so this is this um, function. So basically, normally it would go through 0, 1, and which it still does, because the x coordinate is multiplied by a half, it stays where it is. Okay, normally this would go through um, pi over 4, minus pi over 2, sorry, minus pi over 2. That's what that point is there. Okay, it would go over minus 90 degrees. Okay, that's how the cosine curve goes. It goes like this and through minus 90 and through this would be 90. But because it's been multiplied by half, this is now minus pi over 4. Similarly, this, it would normally go through pi over 2 over here. So this half of that, so this is, this is pi over 4. So that's pi over 4, and this is pi over 2, which helps us to answer our question for the coordinates of p. The y, the minimum value of the cosine curve is minus 1. That doesn't change because the y coordinates stay the same. But the value of p, okay, is, is it would have normally been, okay, at pi. It goes down through um, 0 at pi over 2, and then its minimum value would be at pi. It goes up, but this time it's been multiplied by a half. Okay, so that pi has become pi over 2. So the coordinates of p are going to be pi over 2 and negative 1. Okay, those are the coordinates of p, pi over 2 and negative 1. Okay, all right, so they didn't ask us to put all these values in, but I'll put the values of these points. This is pi, okay, every 4 squares is pi over 2. So that's going to be 3 pi over 2. That's going to be 2 pi. So that's like 4 pi over 2, and that's like 5 pi over 2, and that's like 6 pi over 2, which is 3 pi. It goes up to 3 pi, and that's minus pi over 2 here. Okay, so this is the graph. We don't actually have to put these values in. I just did that for the next part of the question, actually. Oops, let's plug in my, plug in my uh, laptop. There we go. All right, so now, um, the next part of the question tells us to draw on the same curve axis the graph of y equals sine x. Okay, y equals sine x, okay, it has its, it tells us to use the, the next page diagram, which of course you should do in the exam, but I'm going to do it on this page, okay, but uh, you would have do as they say, put on the next page. There's another diagram on the next page, another curve axis with exactly the same thing as that's here. Okay, so that's what you would do. I'm just going to do it here for purposes of um, saving a bit of time. So sine curve, um, just they've asked us to draw the, the graph of y equals sine x without any changes to it. Y equals sine x. Okay, so that's 
principle, you should know that standard. It goes through the origin. It reaches the maximum at pi over 2 of 1. It goes through 0 at pi. It goes through 3 pi over 2 at minus 1. That's minimum. And then it goes back through 0 at 2 pi, up there, and then down back to 3 pi over here. So, and then on this side, of course, it goes through minus pi over 2 there. So now this is where the student lost marks because he made his graph look something like this. Kind of like you can say with peaks and like these lines, it's not curved enough. So I thought that was a bit on the cruel side, but just make sure that when you do such curves, that you try to do it in such a way that you have proper, like a bit more curves. And I mean, I'll try my best with this tool that I have, but you gotta try and make it more curved like this. It's not perfect. I I shouldn't really expect perfection either. It's just a sketch, but anyway, I'm trying my best with this pen that I have here. So that's how the sine curve was. Something of how the sine curve should look. So we'll try and tidy up a bit. Okay, so that's y equals sine x. Okay, so this is the graph of y equals sine x. Okay, all right, so now it's asking us the next part of the question. It says, hence or otherwise, Hence or otherwise, deduce the number of solutions of the equation cosine 2x equals sine x that lie in the region from x is between 0 and up to 20 pi, including 20 pi. Okay, so now let's look at 0. I'll change the color of this. Let's look at between 0 and 2 pi. Because this, 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 this whole pattern will repeat every 2 pi. So 0 and 2 pi is up to here. And let's see how many times they intersect in this region here. You can see they intersect 1, 2, 3 times. Okay, so in the first 2 pi, oops, in the first 2 pi um, section, they, re they basically, so this is, 2 pi, there's three intersections. So every 2 pi, there's going to be three intersections, basically. Right? Every 2 pi, there's going to be three intersections. Okay, so that means um, in 20 pi, there's going to be x intersections. In 2 pi, there are three intersections. So you can use some sort of proportion here. You can say that x is going to be 20 pi times 3 over 2 pi. Okay, so we can say there's going to be 30. 30 intersections in 2 pi. So we can say that there's going to be 30 intersections between 0 and 20 pi, and between 0 and 21 pi. Now, just imagine you finished this 20 pi. Supposing this is 20 pi. Okay, we've got 30 intersections. Now, between 20 pi and the next pi, which will be 21 pi, how many more intersections do we see here? We see one, one here, oops, supposed to be there. We have one, two. Why is it hiding on the floor as well? We have one here and two here, two more. In the next pi, there's two more intersections, okay? Between, so that's 20 and 21 pi, there's two more intersections. So that means there's gonna be 32 intersections Okay, Okay. between 0 and 21 pi, two more than before. Okay, so we're looking between 0 and 2 pi first, and then extending that up to 20 pi. So that's three intersections in the first 2 pi. There's 10 2 pi's in 20 pi, so that's 3 times 10, which is 30. Okay, and then 1 pi after that. Okay, so we're looking for 1 pi after that. Now, because we're stopping at 20 pi, which is an even number of pi's. Between 20 pi and the next pi, there's going to be two more. Between every even number of pi's, there's two more between the next pi. Between every odd one, you can see between pi and 2 pi, there's just one. But be between every even pi number and the next pi, so between 20 and 21, there's two. Okay, so there's two more than 30, which is 32. OK, 
Okay, so for the first one, we don't count this intersection because we want to find between 0 and 20 pi. So between 0 and 2 pi, there's 1, 2, 3. That's going to be repeated, that same pattern is going to be repeated 20 times, uh, 10 times in 20, in 20 pi. So that's 3 times 10, which is 20. Okay, and then for the last one, it's between tw up to 21 pi. Up to 20 pi, we've got up to an even number of pi's. There's got, there's, uh, we've got 30, and there's two more after that. Okay, so you've got to be careful there, but th those are the answers for that question. Okay?